Hello all. So this is uh, Vinod here, okay, from Entrance Engineering Academy. So there was one request from one of our subscriber, okay, in the comment section. So I used to read the comment section frequently, and I used to answer it also, okay. So now, what is the request? Is something like uh, how to give an introductory video about myself, and how to explain uh, what is the reason for being a teacher. So, but uh, just I thought about it and I just thought that, okay, what is the, uh, what actually is, uh, what is actually there for me to explain about myself? Okay, there is nothing is there to explain about myself. But I thought, okay, let me give a video which, uh, which gives something useful for them, even though it is from my side, okay, but it has to be uh, like, it's about myself, but it has to be useful for yourself and what that uh, video is nothing but mistakes okay so mistakes of uh, mistakes which i did okay. and essentially i'm not going to talk about all the mistakes which i did my I did in my life i'm going to talk about the mistakes which i did during my preparation and its consequences and uh, etc okay right so uh, first of all uh, i do believe this uh, what is that i believe that first thing which you need to understand very clearly is to learn from your mistakes and uh, more importantly if you're just going to learn from your mistakes only then it is going to take entire life for understanding everything okay for learning everything so instead of learning from your mistake learn from others mistakes also so it's something like you have to learn from your mistake and others mistake and you need to try to keep uh, reducing that mistakes in future and in fact you need to try to eliminate it completely okay so that is the point now let us come back to the topic so um, mistakes what I did during my preparation see um, first mistake which I did during my preparation was I started very lately okay so I started very lately uh, preferably I will be giving you the corrective measures also side wise okay so preferably if you are in college Okay, the correct time to start was your uh, mostly second year, second semester. Okay, second year, second semester, that is your fourth semester. Uh, most probably either if you are going to start it at the fourth semester end or fourth semester beginning, that is fine, but uh, you need to start it in fourth semester. Okay, so either at the beginning or ending. But I started very lately. Okay, so I believe that I started in my, um, if I seriously, okay, actually I had a plan to prepare for gate from the beginning but uh, if you see the regress like uh, serious preparation i started very lately okay so maybe after that uh, a third year after third year uh, second semester only okay so regressly i prepared only for some two or three months three months maybe regressly uh, actually i was i was preparing but i didn't prepare properly i just uh, carried away with many other works okay so that is the first mistake which i did so what is the mis what is the learning from this so if you are if you are preparing if you are in college and if you are started to prepare if if you have a plan to prepare for gate then first thing to do is to start your preparation early in second year uh, second year second semester that is your fourth semester okay so that will be the right time to start your preparation and that will make you to then uh, you will be having enormous amount of time like 17 18 months so that you can cover the subjects in a well detailed manner Right, and also you, you have to follow the strategy, okay, that I will come back later, right. Now, then you might ask me a question, starting it early means, can I start it in my first year? No, of course not, of course not. You should never begin your preparation in first year, why? If you begin your preparation in first year, then in first two years itself, you will get saturated. You will completely get saturated, you cannot able to concentrate on your college works and also you won't be able to concentrate on the gate preparation work so it is not at all advisable to start in your first year and even second year first semester also not at all advisable it's only better to start in second year second semester okay so that is the mistake which i did i started lately and obviously the consequences since i started lately i couldn't perform well in my um first gate okay so then i returned my second gate and of course i taken a break okay I'd taken a break and then i returned a second gate of course it it uh, it well it uh, it do well it do went good okay so it do went good and then i just entered into iit 
Okay, I got admission, which is what I decided off. So I got admission in IIT at Madras, and uh, yes, so that's what. So I taken a break of one year to join in IIT. Okay, right. So second mistake which I did during my preparation, I'm saying about the first time preparation. Okay, so whatever mistake I did in the first time, I corrected in the second time, which helped me a lot to score a better mark. So I got some uh, decent rank, like uh, ranks. Uh, I got decent rank, and so that I could secure a seat in IIT. Okay, so and uh, these are the mistakes which I'm talking about, which I did in my first time preparation. Okay, so during my second time preparation, I started to correct my mistakes which I did in first time preparation. So if you want to avoid this, that is, if you want to avoid repeating, okay, then it is better to correct your mistakes at the first time itself. Not correcting your mistakes, just be aware that these are the mistakes which is possible. Okay, right. So second mistake which I did, I didn't have a strategy. I just blindly started to read subjects, blindly. Okay, so I didn't have any strategies. Blindly, I taken some subject, I started to read this, that. And finally, it got collapsed and as usual, I already made a video about uh, forgetting the things, right? I already made a video. Those are the experience which is, which is my personal experience. I started to forget everything which I studied at the beginning. And then again, I need to revise that and it will take more time. So then during my second time preparation, I started to observe this mistake and then I corrected it by writing down short notes and revising it periodically. So how to revise periodically, how to take short notes, all has been already discussed in the previous video. If you want, I will add adding you the link uh, in the description box. Okay, right. Uh, so that is the second thing. I didn't have any strategy. I didn't have a strategy for preparing a subject. I didn't have a strategy for revising a subject. I didn't have anything. Blindly, I started to read the subject. I started to learn. But after two months, I will forget everything. Okay, so that has happened during my first time preparation, okay? Now, so to avoid this, follow a proper strategy. Already the strategy videos like Liberation and the short notes video has been already uploaded. You can just check out in the playlist. Uh, I created a playlist separately, great strategy, so you can just check it out, okay? Right. Now, third one, biggest mistake, test series. I didn't attend a test series, so, it seems to be very funny now because uh, for gate exam, for exam like gate, I didn't attend a test series and I just went for exam and I written the exam. I didn't attend a single test series also, single test also when I was, when I prepared first time. So that cost me huge. In fact, it cost me huge. Okay. So I could just clear my exam in the first time, just I got some 40 marks. Okay. But the marks which I attended during my first time was 80. I hope you won't believe that I, I attended around 80 marks during my first time, but uh, the result was something like 40. Okay. So the major reason for this, I believe that it is due to lack of practice as a test. So practicing as a questions, practicing previous year questions, that is fine, but still test series is something which is going to play a huge role. Okay. So test series. Okay. Right. Now the next thing is, uh, during my second time preparation also, okay, during my second time preparation also, I did some mistakes, but fortunately, I corrected it in first few months itself. The one of the mistake in the second time preparation was, I started to write the test series. Okay, this is the fourth point. Okay, so I started to write test series, but I didn't analyze anything. Blindly, I written the test and then I just, I just seen the score. Okay, fine score. I went for the next test. I written test, I seen the score, I went for next test, I didn't analyze even a single question. Why I am doing the mistake? Why this question was wrong? Why I am not able to solve this mistake? Why all this is happening, that why after writing the test, that why is very, very important. Why I am not able to get above 80 percentage? Why I am not able to get above 70? Why I am not able to get about 60? Why I am getting 20? Why I am getting 30? Why I am getting 40? All this why should be answered after the test itself. Once if you start doing this analysis properly after the test, then you will start to grow. You will start to grow like something that I observed only after a few months. Okay, so that is a mistake which I did during my second time preparation also, which I like maybe after some one or two months. Okay, after that I realized it. Hmm. So I said four points, right? Fifth point 
that is also very very important point this happened during my first time preparation and which had influence in my second time preparation also i didn't take in care of my health properly okay so i didn't take in care of my health properly i don't want to discuss much about that but i didn't take in care of my health properly which resulted in something so that i couldn't concentrate more on my studies okay this happened during my first prepare first time preparation and also the same thing happened during my second time preparation also okay the fifth point and the most important point is to take care of your health properly during your preparation because it is a long journey and it's not that much easy okay so you have to take care of your health properly i will say something that uh, gate exam is uh, in fact very easy but the preparation process the gate preparation process is not that easy it's a long journey so if you want to survive in that journey and if you want to uh, get a good result then you need to start enjoying that journey and you need to struggle during that journey and also during that struggle there are more possibility for damaging your health take care of that okay, that is the fifth point and also most important point right last one is deviations okay so this happened during my first time preparation and of course i corrected this a lot in my second time preparation deviations has many subdivisions actually it is like very very easy for uh, us to get deviated okay so the first thing the many deviations which i could list out the one of the major thing is the cell phone okay so we could use our mobile for positive things and also for negative things also maybe um, maybe some of them are watching my videos in mobiles also so it's a positive thing i hope it's a positive thing but uh, and there are many negative effects also whatsapp facebook etc 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 all these things has been occupied okay so during the first time okay that is i was saying about the mistakes and you need to avoid it it's uh, surely required if you want if you are going to use social networking you need to use it you can use it for uh, a relaxation purpose but at the same time that time you need to take care of you need to take care of the time which you are investing in social networks okay and another thing you can use social network positively for your preparation also like as i said the video which you are watching now most of them will be watching in mobiles only okay right uh, the next one in this uh, topic itself that is in getting deviated itself there are still many things friends girlfriends maybe for girls it is boyfriends and uh, what else to add okay there are many many deviations so the last point which i want to add is to um, try to reduce the deviation as much as possible like actually you can divide your uh, time something like you can spend some one hour or one and a half hour for entertainment okay that entertainment is what i was saying about the deviation during your gate preparation time okay so you can divide the time but uh, you should not completely get diverted from what is what actually you wanted to do okay so if you start getting diverted from what you wanted to do then there will be a problem okay so that is the last point which i was saying okay so to sum up and i forgot to say the important point i said about my mistakes i said about i need to say about my success right and one of the one of the major reason for my success is my teachers okay i'm not saying about uh, uh one or two teachers who taught me i'm saying about the teachers from my 6th class so the first person who get to know about me like even i also don't have a belief in myself but she had a belief in me and uh, and the journey started there 6th standard 6th class and from 6th class many teachers are there i cannot list it out okay there are many teachers are there to help me to push forward okay so there are many teachers i don't want to list it out okay so so there are many teachers who helped me to grow okay a lot and recently also that is during my struggle period that is after my um first time which i couldn't go well and during my second time preparation also there are there are teachers who helped me okay so yes sir. so that's what so yes i discussed about my mistakes and of course i guess the subscriber uh, the one who asked me this to introduce about myself i hope 
this will be more than enough so i hope this video will be very very helpful for you during your preparation time right so